Hey everybody, it's that time. It's that time to go over all our favorites from the last few months that we've tried. So January, February, um, most of March. Um, so you're going to see clips from some of the different looks I've done in the past week or so using these products. And then us go um, using together some of the products. So I hope you um, like it. Um, if you're interested, keep on watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye, on to the video. Hey, so here we are starting with base products today in my look at my quarterly favorites. So January, February, and March of this year. Um, these are products that I've been loving so today I've started with base. Normally I start with my eyes, but because um, the three products that I'm going to be talking about are from the same brand, I thought for today I'm going to start with the base. I'm going to go through over the next few days testing out the different bits of makeup that I've been loving um, for the last th three months and um, at the end completing a full look. So here's the first one we're doing on base. So for the base products, I've been really in love with a new brand that's at Sephora Canada and US. They also have their own website and that is LYS Beauty, Love Yourself Beauty, a black woman owned makeup brand. So here is the foundation. This is an LN3 and I think it's a perfect match. I've been really liking it. It's a serum foundation, it's lightweight. If you want it super sheer, one pump will do ya. A uh, pump and a half or two month pumps if you wanna build it up a little bit more. But I really like this as an everyday foundation if I don't, especially if I don't wanna go full cake face. So that's what I've got on here. And then into the same brand, we're going to go into the bronzer. And then this one um, in Motivate is the lightest color. And I've been really liking that as well. Comes in this gorgeous um, um, triangle packaging. All their packaging has that triangle look to it. Um, um, if you wanna see my first full impressions when I tried this out, I do have a video. Um, if I remember, I'll link it down below. And then I've also been using their blush in kindness, which is the peachy color. Again, also comes in the triangle package, but this one's got the more um, burnished look to it, not as shiny and you don't see fingerprints as much. And then that's the color there. And then that's what I have on my face. This is the first um, brand I've been loving this quarter that is becoming a firm favorite, maybe even some Holy Grail products. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be using this whole bottle if um, the last week or so has been, or last couple weeks has been any indication. Alrighty, so on to the next one. Okay, so completing yesterday's foundation, bronzer, and blush look with LYS Beauty. Now I'm going to go to um, another new release that happened this quarter that I loved, that I loved multiple products of, actually like the whole collection. Um, we're talking about Odin's Eye. Odin's Eye from Sweden, independent brand. They just had the Norn collection released. So today I used on my eyes the Erd palette, which is this one here. And then this is the one with all the lovely green shades in there. And then for um, highlighter, I was using the Web of Destiny, which is, just remove the plastic here so you can see it a little bit better. It's the pinky peachy gold one. And then for lips is also Odin's Eye because they also released just before the um, Norn collection. Um, a lipstick collection in two different formulas. And then I got the one in Red Cherry, which is the more matte found, uh, foundation, <laughs> the ma more matte lipstick. So there we go. So to complete this first look of quarterly favorites, um, we finished off with Odin's Eye. So I think tomorrow we're gonna do a little, my favorite foundation, for full That's cake it for this look of favorites and on to the next one. 
Hey, here we go. Another day, another look with this quarter's favorites. So um, it must be foundation quarter for me because I tried three foundations um, this month and three were a hit. Um, so we're going to talk about our second foundation today, which is the NARS Radiant Soft Matte in Mont Blanc. It's great. It's, um, I guess it's like a medium to full coverage, depending on how many pumps you use. I just used one. So I think I got a good medium coverage. If I would have used a bit more, it would have got full covered most things. I've got a couple spot spots that it didn't hundred percent cover, but like I said, I only did one pump today. And then for my eyes, a palette that uh, came out this year and that I love is by Nomad Cosmetics. It's their Iceland Land of Fire and Ice. And today we decided to do fire. And then we just used the three shades down the middle. And then we used this one color here. Um, I don't have my glasses on me, but that color there for the inner corner. And then since we are playing with Fire, um, a brand that was part of my Canadian brands that I just tried out again this quarter as well is Suva Beauty. And then I've got this gorgeous red one here, um, Bomb AF. And then I use that as the eyeliner to make a red eyeliner. And then I just completed my Fire and a Nice look. So um, the lipstick is an old one, it's from Besame in Carmine, but uh, there we go. So here's the look with some of this month's favorites. Alrighty, on to the next look. Okay, so today's um, talk on our quarterly favorites. I'm playing with the Club Nebula palette. I think this is pretty much almost on everybody's um, top list for the last few months. It's a pretty fabulous palette. I just went for this look. I just played with the two purples. See if you can see them right there, yeah. The two purples, and then I played with the pink there. And then there you go. So yeah, so definitely on the top of my uh, quarterly list. And that's the look that I created this time with it. And uh, yeah, so on to the next one. Okay, so now let's do a face of the ultimate favorites for this quarter. So I don't have a new eye base, so I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye base today. There we go, just to fix that up a little bit. I definitely got a little bit too much, but hey, it's all right, no harm, no foul. Alrighty, so now we're gonna do eyeshadow. I brought out a few different things because I didn't know how the, what colors I was gonna go with. So I brought out the Odin's Eyes Schooled palette, and this is the one that is an all shimmer palette. I brought out my uh, Cleona shadows as well, just in case. And then I'm going to say the number one palette. I think this is a lot of people's number one palette. We're going to go with the Club Nebula for this quarter. It's stunning. I mean, everybody's seen this palette before. So let's just take a look and see what colors we want to do. But, you know, and using several different palettes or um, extra items, why not, right? It's just makeup. It's just for fun. It doesn't have to be just one brand on your eyeballs. Um, yeah, I even have some Shine by SD as well, but let's see what we're going to do. So let's go and grab ourselves a nice floofy brush. So I've got a spectrum brush. Start these things wearing glasses and it'll be a little bit easier, right? So this is the B09. So this is the two-sided one. So it's got more denser side and then it's got a floofy side. So let's see. Um, I'm seeing an overwhelming theme here between all the different palettes that there's lots of green and there's lots of peach. So I think we're gonna stick with my favorite color palette and let's do greens with our favorites. So we're gonna take the color Gravity from the Kaleidos palette 
and that's the um, green in the middle row there. And then we're gonna start with um, placing this on our eyes. Take a little bit of this color, seven of nine. So it's a slightly, slightly darker green. And then I was gonna kind of go and put this a blue green, like I guess more like a turquoise and kind of stick that in the middle there and then blend the top part together. There we go. So now what I want to do is darken the outer edges. And with that, I'm going to use Queen of Blades. And then that is the color right there in the palette. I'm just going to use this on the outer. Okay, so now we're going to decide what we want to stick into the metal. So we can either go with Firefly, if we want to stick with the Club Nebula palette, or we could do this color in here from Cleona. So it's this green one here, if we wanted to do it darker. Do the Schooled palette, and then there's the color Futurism, which I think I may be... Hmm... Let's start, let's try Futurism. I think I may be leaning to the more darker green part in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little white um, eye primer. And then this is from Kim Chi. It's not new, but. And then we're gonna go into Futurism. And then I've been having fun with this cover effects, rose quartz and defense crystal, crystal infused elixir mixed. Oh, that's a mouthful. Um, so we'll just call it the crystal mist for now. And then let's pop this into the center. And then I'm going to use my finger to always find it gives like a little extra zhuzh on top when you use your finger. So there we kind of have like a, I guess what is they call it, a halo eye. So now we've got that. Now we're going to go and reinforce in some of the colors that from the um, Club Nebula palette from Clios. There we go. I think it's cute. What do we think? Not bad. <laughs> okay, so let's just put the eyeshadow away for a bit. And then we will work on base. Make sure again that I've got no fallout or anything. And then we're going to do our base. So I've been trying, let's see where I found it. There we go. I got a trial size of the Bobbi Brown face base. So I've been playing with that a little bit. So we'll just use that today. I still haven't quite made up my mind what to think about it, but let's just use that as our primer for today. It smells really good though. A nice, like a lemony scent. Yeah, it's got a nice citrusy lemon scent, and then it feels a little, feels almost like pudding. It's almost like putting a pudding on your face. There we go, got the base on. Give that a second. And then I'm also trying out one of the, those pawpaw sponges from Shop Miss A. It got really quite big and squishy. And then our foundation, we're going to go with, I think this is my favorite for the last few months, and that's the LYS foundation. So the serum foundation, I really like it. And again, it was in the LN3 was the color that I got. So let's start with one good pump onto the blender and off we go. And then we're gonna set with powder. I usually use a loose powder, but I forgot to fill my loose powder up this morning. So I'm just going to use um, my ZZ um, British Museum powder. 
And then I'll just put it on a big fluffy brush. I usually do it with a sponge, but we will do it this way today. So there we go. So next I wanna quickly do my brows. I don't have anything new. I really like the Wonder Wax um, by Pink Honey. It comes with a little brush and then I just use, you can use water, but I just use whatever setting spray that I'm using. So in this case, the Crystal Elixir by Cover FX. We just give it a spray. It just fills them in slightly. I need to get my um, brows done. I uh, haven't had them done since we've gone into lockdown, except for trying to taking care of myself a little bit and I'm not that good at it. So there we go, just, just to make them a little less unruly. There we go. Okay, so browse up. All right, so we're gonna go with, so I did try, I've, I'm trying a couple other bronzers, including the Jaclyn Hill right now, but the one that I've been using the most this month is again by LYS Beauty. So we're going to use that one. And then I'm going to use that on my Kaleidos, uh, they call it a contour brush, but I think it looks really good for this bronzer, which again is, which one did I get? Motivate, yes, yes, Motivate. I'll remember the name of this one day. I remember the brand, but there we go. Okay, and then same thing with blush. It is again going to be the LYS Beauty, and this is in the color, again, glasses would be good. Color is kindness, so kindness. So I've been obsessed with, ooh, with um, peachy colored blushes. I've got some Milani ones that I'm going to be trying out and I do have a new, the new blush from Jaclyn Hill, but it wasn't the peachy color, it was a pink color. We're gonna do some highlight. So highlights today, I brought out all the Odin's Eye. These, it's the newest highlights that I've been trying. And since we're having a peachy look, I think we're gonna go back to the one that I used in my last look. And that is the uh, Web of Destiny, I believe. Oh, actually it's not, but let's use it anyways. I just noticed that I kind of like it. It's kind of gold, um, lilac. Let's, let's try that. See how that goes with peachy green. I know some people are saying that highlight is out, but I kind of still like to be seen from space. So there we go. All right, so before I do my bottom, uh, bottom of my eye and lips, let's go and buff in this here. So again, I'm going to use my ZZ powder. Makes it all melt together nicely. And then using our, I'm almost out of my Charlotte Tilbury, which is my Holy Grail setting spray. I'm going to use the, the um, Cover FX one. This one definitely has some kick, so you'll want to do it from a bit farther away for sure. Because nothing worse than big splots of um, setting spray in your face. And then I'll use my little fan. And there we go. All right. So now we're gonna want to finish our bottom lash. So lash line, I should say. So then we're gonna go back into the Club Nebula palette. And then I'm going to find a thinner brush. And then this one is from AOA that I got from Shop Miss A. I wanted some cheap, um, to try some different smaller brushes to see what I thought. And then we're going to go and do Queen of Blades in the corner. And then just so I don't get any chance of any fallout, we'll do that. Even though these shadows are pretty good. Yeah, for inner corner, I'm going to use one of my Cleona shadows that I got this year. And this one is in the color Throne. I mean, look at that. 
that's some shine. Go Cleona. I can see why everybody likes them so much. It's so beautiful and shiny. Video, I'm using um, ZZ Cosmetics. Um, I should have grabbed the black one. I grabbed the blue one, but I think that's gonna, it's gonna be fine. I just want to do a little bit of a line there. So have the Suva Beauty liner. So maybe what I could do on top of that is use this green one, and this one's called Avo Cuddle. <laughs> okay, why don't we try that? I'm gonna take my little liner brush. I'm going to take a little bit of water that I have here and I'm going to dip it into the Suva Beauty Green Liner. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty green. I like that. Okay, so now let's take some more and go into the other side. All right. <laughs> There we go, changed some gears. Went from um, the wrong color liner in blue and changing it to green. But I still really do like this eyeliner. I like it so much I have to. And uh, yeah, and then I really um, recommend these um, Suva Neon liners. I also have, which I used for another look, the red one, which I really like as well. It's not a neon one though. So there we go. I don't have a new mascara. I do have one, but I haven't started using it yet because I'm just using the last little bit of my What the Fake by Essence. And then I'm going to be playing with the Spectrum uh, mascara and then probably will go back to my Lash Princess after. But then again, depends. Maybe the Spectrum one's excellent. I don't know. Yeah. Going with the green liner, I think was the right decision. I like it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we'll put on the lipstick that I picked for my favorite lipstick of the month, or I should say the quarter, and then I'm going to go off camera, do hair, maybe put on some lashes, and then we can discuss some of the favorites for this quarter. Okay, so for lipstick, um, it's going to be the Odin's Eye, and this one is in Cherry Red. That's that color there. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go and put on some lashes, do some hair, and then we'll come back and then we'll talk. Alrighty, be back in a second. And we're back with our finished look. So I put on some lashes, took me a little bit. Um, these are, um, Kiss, uh, kiss lashes from I Envy. I've had them kicking around for a while. And yeah, so that's the look we created today with some of the favorites from since January. So since January, some palettes and things I bought. So the Kaleidos Club Nebula, the Norn Collection from Odin's Eye, the LYS Collection, Love Yourself beauty that's now at Sephora, um, Canada, US, and on their own website, which is a black um, woman-owned beauty brand. Um, yeah, there we go. Those are some of my favorite products. Um, also loved playing with the Suva Beauty eyeliner. Um, also within the videos, the ZZ Cosmetics, their foundation, I loved. I loved the lipstick that I got for the Lunar New Year collection. Yeah, all these products I've been really loving and I've been going to be trying out some new ones from um, Milani Cosmetics. I've tried some of, I bought some of their, I bought the peach liquid blush and then a blush oh, that's on a compact place, which should be my next, my next video. Um, so there we go. Here are some favorites from this quarter. My completed look using some of the ones that I loved best course in my favorite uh, color palette of green and of course red lips um yeah so hope you like the video um hope to see you again if you could be so kind to like comment subscribe maybe hit that notification bell it'd be greatly appreciated if not that's okay we can still be friends we can still discuss makeup and
and I will, as always, hope you are doing well, that you're loving playing with makeup as much as I do, and if there's any any of the things that I tried that you're interested in trying or you've tried and you've loved, I would love to hear back. Have you tried the Club Nebula palette? Have you tried the Norn collection? Um, ZZ Cosmetics, LYS Beauty, have you tried them? I hope you have because they're fantastic products. Okay, well, that's it. That's it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Just wanted to show the Lucky Natural Light. There we go. Yeah, that's all I wanted. All right.